We will do a walkthrough here of the installation and initial configuration process of SharePoint Server 2013 technical preview. So from the splash screen, you install the software prerequisites, which is a must install before you can install SharePoint Server. This process goes ahead and installs the .NET Framework 4.5 and other prerequisites which are required before you can install SharePoint Server 2013 technical preview. Through the process, you do need a restart. It will automatically restart it if you let it to continue the installation of the remaining components. Now, after the restart happens, it will continue automatically with the reinstall, the install of the software prerequisites. The process here is much faster than what you will experience in your installation. We're just hurrying it along here to show you a quick view. So once the installation completes of all the software prerequisites, you will go back to the place where the installation files are located. You'll go back to the splash screen, and from there you can go to the SharePoint server installation. So here we're gonna click on the install SharePoint server and the process will start out. First, we need to provide it the product key that has been given. Continuing on forward, accepting the agreement, we continue the process of installing the SharePoint Server 2013 technical preview, making sure we choose the right location for our files Now the installation process also takes quite a while. We're gonna hurry it up a little bit here. After it is done, the configuration wizard runs, starts up automatically, and goes through the process of setting up the environment. It will stop some services before it continues. We'll let it do that. We're gonna create a new server farm to start with. You will point to the database server that you want to host the SharePoint server databases. There's quite a few of them that it will put out there. In our case, it's SPEL server. Now, we already have an account that we'll use to access the database, and we're providing that account right now. This is the Active Directory account that we already have created. It will give it the credentials, the security authentication that's necessary once we provide this account. Passphrase you want to make a note of because later on when you make when you add other servers to the farm you will need this passphrase to put it into the farm. Here you can specify a port number or let it pick a random number. We're gonna let it do so. And I'm gonna choose the NTLM authentication here. Now it is ready to take the configuration settings and apply it. This process also takes a while configuring everything. We're going to hurry it up the steps over here to show you. This is the end view. Once you're finished, automatically it takes you to central administration of SharePoint 2013 technical preview. And it will show you from here. First thing, if you want to participate in the customer experience or not. If you don't, click no, okay. Now we're gonna use the wizard to go ahead and start up the process of setting up the rest, all the services. In the production, you want to do that manually. We're gonna use the existing SP service account. Once again, if you want in production, it's better to use a different account to set up services. We're choosing all the services so we can we have everything available. Click on next. If you choose all the services, this process takes a while to complete. We're gonna hurry this up and show you the end result. And here it is. You have the web applications that come up, central administration and the primary web application. We'll make a new site collection under the 
primary site collection. So for this one, we're going to call this SP videos. This is our primary site collection. Site collection can be hosted directly at the root level of the web application or under the slash sites like that. Since we have not created one at the root yet, we're going to make one at the root of SPEL server. Only one site collection can be created at this level. We're going to choose the 2013 experience. You can also choose 2010 SharePoint experience. Among the many templates available, we're choosing the team site template for the site collection. That's going to be the top level site, the team site. In my case here, I'm choosing the SharePoint administrator to be the administrator for this site collection as well. And I'll go ahead and create it. This process spins for a while and then returns into the site collection. I'll click on this address SPEL server to show me the site collection that was created. And once the site collection comes up, we're ready to go. It has the template team site applied to it. And we can go ahead and start using the site collection, creating subsites, sharing it with people, changing the look and feel, and it's basically ready to go.